The energy emitted by any solar flare is more than a million times greater than the energy from a volcanic eruption on Earth. And here we're talking about the biggest solar flare in the 11-year cycle. Now, how was this ejection of a flare consumed by the solar system? Plus, what were its consequences for Earth? On December 14, 2023, an active sunspot renowned for its intense magnetic field eventually resulted in powerful outbursts or other solar activities. This sudden and intense blast of energy is classified as a Class X 2.8 solar flare. X class denotes the most intense flares, while the number provides more information about its strength. So this largest flare seemed like a bright flash that matched its intense nature. This is 10,000 times bigger than a usual solar eruption. In Earth terms, it equals billions of hydrogen bombs. Is this a common phenomenon, or was this something unique that has occurred over the years? Solar flares are quite common occurrences in the Sun. The high solar flares are termed solar maximum. This is a cycle that happens every 11 years, although several minor incidents that don't have a significant effect occur multiple times throughout the years. But is this the biggest solar flare ever recorded? We'll now have to look into the history of solar flares to understand its intensity. Let's analyze two of the most important solar events in history. Firstly, the Carrington event in 1859, and then comes the biggest ever solar flare in 2001. The Carrington event recorded by a British astronomer is known to be the biggest geomagnetic storm ever witnessed. The ejections from the sunspot, also known as the coronal mass ejection or CME, usually take several days to arrive at Earth. However, this event considered to have caused a major ejection from the sun's corona and only took about 17.6 hours to make it to Earth, which covered a monumental distance of 150 million kilometers. Such a geomagnetic storm, if it occurred today, would cause widespread electric disruptions, significant damages due to power outages, and long blackouts. Then comes the next biggest solar flare that occurred on Monday, April 2, 2001. This propelled one of the biggest solar flames ever recorded. This was noticed by the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, or the SOHO satellite. The Sun's northwest region ejected coronal mass ejection right into space at a speed of a whopping 7.2 million kilometers per hour. Fortunately, the flare was not targeted towards the Earth, but it still caused minor disruptions in the power grid in Canada. These two historical events may have provided you with a vivid imagination of a solar flare's sheer intensity and impact. Now let's discuss further about this recent event and its impact. Was this directed towards the Earth? The flare that occurred was observed by the Solar Dynamic Observatory, which has captured every event and stunning pictures of the intensity of the solar flare, which helped us not only know about it, but also aided us in understanding how intense the flare was. But how do these flares and coronal mass ejection affect the Earth even beyond our atmospheric protection? These ejections influence the magnetic field around the Earth, which eventually gains control over the atmosphere and seeps into the physical realm of our planet, disrupting various components. This was exactly what happened in December. This geomagnetic storm caused disturbances in various regions of Earth for several hours. Besides the disruption, it also triggered an extraordinary event, the Aurora. People were able to witness the aurora from many regions where it barely even occurred. This flare was luckily not directed towards Earth, swerving only slightly away since most of the coronal mass ejections were aimed at space. But why is this event still considered significant, even though it did not aim the mass CMEs towards us? There are two kinds of eruptions in each cycle, solar minimum and solar maximum. During the solar minimum, there wouldn't be any significant unleashing of the sun. According to astronomers, it was predicted that the Sun wouldn't have any notable events until 2024. But then, there came the biggest flare ever recorded in this cycle of 11 years. This was surprising to everyone, since the Sun was currently in the solar minimum phase, but the eruption didn't say so. This sudden switch in the pattern astonished everyone. This event caused considerable confusion among astronomers regarding the Sun's cycle and our preparation for such impactful flares in the future. 
The biggest solar flare of the cycle has taught us both the challenges and advantages of what a solar event could do. Although we're not quite sure when the next solar flare will occur, we're confident that we're going to be safe and sound. Subscribe for more space discoveries.